Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. So I've gotten a couple of requests asking how I have built my tank turret on my EQ's compact tank. So today I thought that I would show you guys how I built this tank turret and how it works. So let's hop into the tank. First off, we can just control it manually from the seat doing nothing other than just moving our mouse and we can shoot and it actually works really well. Now if we hop out of the seat, it automatically resets to its original placement. Now we, we can also press 9 and switch it to automatic mode using another script which then via this turret here shoots wherever this turret is. So, so basically now wherever this turret shoots, this turret shoot. And uh, a good way to explain that is by using this fighter right here. So now I'm just going to give this ship to the space pirates and let's see what happens. And look at that. Automatically just shoots down, absolutely wrecks the fighter. Very, very good against fighters. And that's what I'm going to be showing you guys today, how I built this turret. All right, so I created this small platform here and the first thing that we have to do is place two programmable blocks because I have used two different scripts. A quick little flight seat and a little battery for the power. Now, of course, this is a scaled up version of what I built on the tank, so it's much easier for you guys to see. Now, of course, we just need to place the rotor. Now we're going to start up by setting up the mod script. It is the mouse aimed rotor turret, which basically means that we can aim a turret, no, the tank turret, from the cockpit. So we're going to find this. Uh, link is in the description to the script issued and already have it. So, uh, mouse aimed, there we go. Mouse aimed rotor turret script made by WeSplash. So let's get it in here. And it says no mod groups found. So the first thing that we have to do is just to build this turret itself. So just a quick little turret. I'm not going for anything pretty here. Let's um, let's place this rotor here and a rocket launcher. So now the next step is naming these rotors. So the bottom rotor, we need to call that. Azimuth, I believe it is. Yes, that's correct. And then the rotor that has to go up and down, it's the elevation rotor. Now the next step is to make a mod group. As you might have noticed, it says no mod group signed. So we have to do this. Take the seat, that's very important. The weapon. And the two rotors. And they call it Mart Group, and then something like I'm just going to call it Mart, Mart Group One. Now let's look in here again, and we now have Group Mart Group One. Turtle is idle; it's working. So now we should be able to control it right from the seat. And would we look at that? It's working. Let's just get this weapon down here, and that because that we want to control this. We want to drop down the rotors, and no, not not that. We need to have yeah, rotor lock on off. Very very good to, good thing to have, so that we don't accidentally do this. So now it cannot be moved. So whenever that you don't want to use it, I just always have it locked, so nothing accidentally happens. But now you can shoot it whatever you want to, and yes, it's pretty awesome. That is how I move my tank turret like this. So as you can see I have my azimuth turret right here along with the scripts I, I, I'm using. And here I have a hinge because it also does support hinges that moves the cannons up and down. So now it's time to make this weapon target automatically. So what we're going to do now is spawn in a turret. We can use the gadling, the interior or the missile. I'm just going to go for the interior because it's, it's very small and actually very practical. So now the first step is just to call this designator. Next, we're going to go into 
this one. Draw scripts. Entering to search on Whoops, Toad AI slaving script. Once again, link is in the description for the workshop script. So of course, just press OK here. Like the other one, we just need another group. So let's group the rotors and weapon. And the turret called turret turret group one. There we go. So now that's oh, and there we actually have it. And now we can see one rotor turret group found. Now these two scripts does does not one run well when they're both on together. So I'm just going to turn on or turn off the mouse aimed rotor turret script so that we now only have the automatic script. Now let's take a copy of this one actually. Spawn it here. So now once again we're just going to give this to the space pirates. And it should just start Oh shit! Yes! Automatically just start shooting. Because Beautiful. Isn't that cool? And that's the way it works. Now what I have done on the tank is I have set up a timer block which when pressed turns on this one and turns this one off. When pressed again turns this one on and turns this one off. So it just switches between them. It switches between automatic firing and manual firing. So that's actually just how I make the tank. Of course this is much much bigger scale than what the tank is. Uh, the rest of the tank is just a basic car that's very very small and that looks as best as I could. So that was it for today guys. I really hope that this video was useful and that you learned something new that you could use. Of course, have a good day and I'll see you later. Goodbye.